Good day and welcome back to Coach Creek. Today we're going to look at three basic mistakes while playing the flick shot and how to fix them. The first fault we're going to be looking at is when the batsman's head falls over to the offside while trying to execute the shot. When we look at the first fault, you can see Byron's head is completely to the offside. To fix this, we want our head to be in front of our front foot, weight far forward towards the line of the ball. The reason we want to be doing this is to make sure that we've got enough access with our hands through the ball and to make sure that we don't play underneath ourselves and across ourselves, but through the line of the ball. Another thing to take note of is that when the head is across, you can see the eyes aren't parallel with the ground. And this causes you to not look at the ball in a natural way and it will cause you to lose a bit of your timing. To execute the drill we've selected to fix this error, the batsman will start in his stance ready to play a hypothetical ball. A ball will be placed slightly in front of the batsman, about 30 centimeters in front of him. From that point, the batsman is going to open his or her front foot or take a very small stride, push the head towards and over the ball and make contact underneath the eyes. Please do make sure that your head is still at the point of contact as any movement that is not necessary might cause you to be less consistent. The next mistake we're going to look at is when the batsman is overstriding when attempting to play the shot. When we're looking at a batsman overstriding when attempting to play the shot, there's a couple of things that happen. Firstly, he can't get his head over the ball. When you struggle to get your head over the ball, you don't have access with your hands, which means you have to play around your front bat. Okay. To fix this, <laughs> to fix this, we're going to be doing a drill that enables a player to have a smaller stride, get his head over the ball and have access to his hands. The drill we've selected to fix the overstriding issue will go as follows. The batsman is going to stand in his or her stance. You're going to have a cone lining up with the back foot and the front foot. Then, just in front of that cone, you're going to have another line of cones. This is to indicate maximum stride length. From here, the coach or a friend is going to do drop downs in line with that maximum stride length. Batsman's going to go forward, open up that front foot, making sure to push his head far over the point of contact to make sure that you have enough access and space for your hands to go through the ball. The last mistake we're going to look at is when the batsman is looking to play too square and this forces him to play around their pads. When looking to play too square on a flick shot, there's a couple of issues that creep in. Firstly, if you look at the bat, because it's coming through around the pad, there's a very small surface area that we can hit the ball with. Thus, when we play the shot, we want to fix this by having the batsman hit a straight line with as straight about as possible and then on point of contact, you can roll your wrists through the shot. The next thing we're going to look at is your top hand. You need to lead the shot with the top hand because as soon as the bottom hand takes, con takes control, your bat flares out and you generate space. What this causes is, again, it goes around the ball, which means you're most probably going to get hit on the pad. The drill we've selected to fix this issue goes as follows. The batsman's going to stand in their stance, ready for an overarm ball. The coach is going to go a couple meters back, throw decent-ish pace overarms at the batsman, and there's going to be a cone at a straight mid-wicket line and one at a square mid-wicket line. The batsman is then going to have to look to force his hands towards the cone at the straight mid-wicket line, so the straighter cone between the two, and then on contact, he or she can break their wrists and roll it to the square cone or the square mid-wicket cone. Make sure that you keep the line of the shot the whole way and don't look to hit it square as the ball will naturally go there with a bit of speed. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy today's video, please leave us a like, consider subscribing, share it with your mates and leave us a comment asking us what you'd like to see in the future or if you've got any questions pertaining to this video.